Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, again, Thank finding you. a ways to win. You talked about that on, after Saturday's game and great pitching and then great defense and timely hitting gets you the win and sweep uh, the weekend tournament. Yeah, I mean, that's what we talk about having is the clutch hitting, the dominant pitching and the routine defense. And um, although our bats maybe didn't come alive like we wanted them to that game, I thought we played a solid game. I, I'm really happy with the way they turned around and they made some adjustments against the pitcher. And um, we hit some deep balls to the outfield, which we didn't see yesterday. And so uh, love that we got some production from the bottom of the lineup and the top of the lineup. Talk about, of course, two out hitting, uh, driving in both runs with two outs. Justine Molina is hitting like 350 with two outs, has driven a majority of her runs with runs. Just talk about her and then Shannon, the freshman, also a two out RBI. You got to be proud of that with a two out hitting. Yeah, well, their, their mentality is so what? It doesn't matter if we have no outs, one out, two outs. We're going to take our swings. And um, I think that's, you know, it's just putting us in good, good positions to score runs. And, you know, they, they feed off of each other. So it's fun to watch. Bree was tremendous, got out of that first inning jam and it got you through the sixth. Then you bring in G, and that talks about your staff, your deep staff. They, they're very, you know, you could kind of bring them in at any situation with different matchups. And, you know, talking to Bree, she's like, man, G, I have the full confidence here. And they believe in each, believe in each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Bree's done great this year. She's She's been awesome for us. And um, I, I have confidence that she could have gotten out of that. But, I mean, you play the numbers and – why not when we've got such great pitching staff to mix it up and make it tougher on the on the offense and um, they complement each other so well so it's it's fun to to see them work together and understand that it takes all three of them um, those starters to to get rolling you mentioned and do you feel Bree's got more so much more confidence now than she did say a year ago and, and how much do you think with G and her experience and even Aaliyah having those two around her helps her and her confidence and, and, and learn kind of the game and be more confident in herself after that great game against Tennessee and then yeah. today. Yeah, well, I mean, she's got some experience, so she's a little bit more seasoned, right? And then um, their dynamic and their relationship, they're competitive within each other, but they also want to help each other because they know if we want to go deep in postseason, we're going to need all of them. And um, so I think that they feed off of each other that they know that they don't have to be at their very best to win a game all the time. And having each other, you know, just promotes that even more. I know you wanted more production out of your office, but do you need a game like this too? The last couple games here to scratch out runs, know what it's like to be in a one run game, timely situations, get big pitches, because that's what it's going to be like the rest of the way and going into yeah. conference and then during conference. Yeah, our coaching staff had just spoke, uh, spoke to that um, note actually is, uh, we haven't had many opportunities where we've been in tighter games and had to bring a pitcher in. It's usually been, you know, we've been up by a lot. And so the, you're right. It's great practice. It's great um, adversity for our team to to feel that and still play with composure like we did, you know, even knowing that the winning runs at the plate. Composure is what you've gotten from Shannon at the cleanup spot. Just the <laughs> freshman. We keep talking about these freshmen. Jada, Shannon, Jules. I mean, mm -hmm. they're so poised at the plate. I mean, you, I mean, are you even surprised? I know you felt they could be as talented as high, but are you even surprised how well and confident they're looking at the plate? Because a lot of times the freshmen might be a little nervous. They're, you know, they're getting used to playing D1, but they, they seem like they're vets. Well, I think they have some awesome leaders to look up to, right? And so I, I don't know about surprise, I just think proud because they're buying into what they're doing. And even when they do go down and fail, they come back punching just as hard, if not harder. And so um, that I think that, again, that speaks to our leadership and to our culture of what we're doing here and understanding that it's bigger than one person and one moment. And, um, you know, Shannon is clutch and she's also one of our hardest workers. So, I mean, hard work pays off. and and people start seeing that and it gets contagious and I think you know this cage over here they get to hit on their own whenever they want and I think we're gonna have to put 24-hour cages up there or something no <laughs> they stay within the means of time but I mean they, they just they just love it and they understand what it takes and um, they feed off of each other and so I can't I can't ask for much more as a coach Wednesday night you got Florida State here a game that was supposed to be played in Tallahassee got washed out now they got to come to here. You've talked about protecting place. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Top 25 match. It'll be the third uh, ever played on this field involving UCF. Just talk about Florida State and coming here. They're always talented, and it should be a fun atmosphere here. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're a great team. They have great coaching staff, and um, they've got a, a good pitcher, um, you know, in, in Arnold. And so I'm, I like that we're going to get that competition and, and you know, just be able to have that going into – our trip going into California and then pushing into 
our conference. So it's they want those games. They want to be uh, challenged in that way, and we want to play with the best and be in postseason. So why not, you know, do that by playing all those people right now? Winning here at home, you sweep the home tournament. That's important. I mean, you know, you've seen it across the country. Everybody's dropping a game yeah. to everybody. I mean, it's so competitive. So it's not easy to just sweep through a tournament like you did. Just talk about that and, you know, building a good home base here and winning games at home. Oh, sure. These games are the tough ones, right? Like anyone can play against the number one and, you know, get up for it. But um, when you're grinding it out day in and day out, um, that's where the discipline of our team, I, I love it. I think yesterday you didn't see as disciplined of, of play as we normally do. Um, and so I like how they – that game was a solid game, you know, all the way around. And so um, – even if it, it doesn't feel like, yeah, I want, I want home runs and doubles and, you know, run rules, but um, those games are just as important. And so, like you said, to stay disciplined and win all the games that, you know, put us, we, we're putting ourselves in that position to win. I mean, there's teams that are dropping games that they shouldn't drop on paper. So, um, as a coach, I'm really happy and proud of the team again because we're getting wins you know, in, in all different ways.